Police departments everywhere are suffering officer shortages. Last week, the FOP spoke out about how critical the situation is at the Lexington Police Department, saying the city isn't prioritizing the problem. Lee Searcy went to the mayor today to ask her firsthand what the city plans to do about it in this LEX 18 investigates. By the end of June, the Lexington Police Department is expected to be 100 officers short. A number the FOP president now says may go up even more. If not then, soon after, with a dozen additional officers applying for other police jobs. The union questions how seriously city leaders are taking the growing number of departures. Today, we asked the mayor about it. All cities are experiencing this, and it is concerning. The department is currently 15% shy of full capacity, which is 633 officers. Mayor Gordon says she's hopeful the force will be full again. She's added two recruit classes for next year. These two classes in the new budget should have about 40 in each class, and I feel confident that we're going to get our numbers back up. As we reported, the city has spent substantially more money on overtime just to fill vacant or additional patrol shifts this fiscal year alone. That's up more than 60 percent from last year. Within days of our story, the city cut all overtime across the department except for OT needed to cover beat staffing, the required minimums for a basic patrol shift. A critical move for critical circumstances? No, says the Commissioner of Public Safety. As words from the chief himself, it's common practice to reevaluate your overtime at the end of the fiscal year and address it as needed. He says the allocation of personnel and recruitment remains at the top of the city's list. The FOP says to use only overtime funds for beat staffing shows just how critical the staffing numbers really are. If anyone thinks that we're not taking this seriously, that couldn't be further from the case. It, we take it very seriously. In Lexington, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.